Hello and welcome back to you in the new lesson. This is Yalakshmi Kantiwari. In the previous tutorial, we have created this project for the ramp wave generation with the Atmega 32 microcontroller. So let's first verify this program is running correctly. Okay. So the click on the debug and we will verify it whether our program is running correctly or not. Here select the debugger as a simulator. Okay. Then click on the OK. Fine. Again click on the ESM and then click on the debug. Okay. So let's wait for a second. Okay, fine. So the these are the uh, these are the step pointer initialization. So the directly put our uh, breakpoints here and then click on the continue. Okay, it will come directly to at that point and it has been taken up how much? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the here the total six counter clock size, six cycle counter, and each counter cycle is one microsecond. So that the total the total time elapsed elapsed in execution after these six instructions is six microsecond. Okay, so these are the these 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 this uh, loop is written for the falling edge. Okay, this is the falling edge of the triangular wave, and this loop is written for the rising edge. Okay, this is the sorry the, this one is the falling, and then this is the rising. Then falling, then rising, falling, and then rising. Okay, so let's first verify this falling edge with the registers and that register is the port B or with the port, sorry, that register are R16 and we can also see the port B here. So the port B, you can see the port B. Okay, here you can see the DDRB is loaded with the GUX. Okay, now click on the next. Fine, now the call delay, we don't want to call delay, so just step over the call automatically fine it has been step, step out the call automatically without sorry it actually it calls the delay function but it didn't enter in the delay loop sorry means that it didn't go uh, it didn't came it didn't uh, uh, come here okay so the then click on the step over the decrement r16 so the it is not uh, equal to zero that's that's why that's why it came back to at this position. Now the port B will be decremented by one, so that we can verify here. The port B is zero XFF. Now just execute this instruction. Yeah, this is the zero XFE. That's mean now we are pretty damn sure it will automatically execute. Okay, so the click on run came to that point. Zero XFE. Click on. You can see here zero XFD. Then click on the continue 0 x f c that's in falling edge falling edge is perfect okay now click put a breakpoint at the rising edge then click on the continue final there is something either there is something either that's why it didn't stop somewhere yes no error it stopped it okay so the final port v is 0 x 0 1 okay so the now we need to verify this rising edge so the click on the next and then step over this delay call and then next next and then yeah that's mean it's fine our program is running correctly we can verify it okay click uh, put our uh, uh, breakpoint here and uh, remove this breakpoint and click on the continue and wait for a few seconds, it is executing and it will automatically come to this point after execution of this part. Yeah, fine. So the final value is 0x FE and uh, this part will make to out this 0x FE. You can see here. Okay, 0x FF. Fine. So, what is now? This time, yes, it came back to this position. Now that's mean we have verified our program is running correctly in the simulator. So we need to verify it in the. Uh, now we need to verify it in the uh, Proteus. Okay, so the click on the Proteus and choose the here the 8 mega 32. 
5. So the double click on this at mega 32. Just wait for a second, not responding. Okay, the click on this one and then we need one more DSC. So the DSC 08, uh, sorry, DSC 08, 0, sorry, 08000. Okay, so the DSC 08000 we need. The actually we can uh, you you might get two DSC here one this one and one this one but there is no simulator available for this DSC you can see here no simulator model that means it will this DSC will not work in your simulation so to click on double click on this DSC and then finally we need a register okay click on the register and then we need also the capacitor okay click on this capacitor and then click on the OK. Now our circuit has been completed, circuit design, okay, and uh, we have connected minus 12 volt with uh, this minus V, plus 12 volt uh, with uh, plus V, and we have given a plus 5 volt as a reference to the DSC, okay, and we have compensated this through the uh, capacitor, that is the 10 nanofarad capacitors, or you can see 0 0.0. 0 0.1 micro one micro one micro 0.01 micro okay and uh, we will get our output at this point and uh, but that output will be the inverted here if you want uh, uh, non inverting output then you, you have to uh, you add uh, you have to uh, you have to connect a non in, uh, you have to connect a inverting uh, op amp circuit here okay so the, this is the simplest one you you will get an inverting output but the adding the register will be the simplest one okay so the put the value of these registers sorry one more thing has been wrong here okay put here one more register actually we need a, one more register this type of register here click on the register and then, then click on and then Okay, connect this to the air. Fine, make this as a 5k or 4.7k. K, K, K is also, also enough, and make this one as also a 5k and make this one. This one is a five. Fine. Okay, that's a fantastic. Now, what we need more? The, have a path of the hex file. So, give the path to hex file, and that hex file is in the sky drive. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, that hex file is in the OneDrive and uh, Documents, Site Studio 6.1 uh, here and uh, this debug and here this one. Then click on the OK. Fine. And also for using the output, we need to add a oscilloscope. 
connect oscilloscope port to this point. Okay, now the run this program. Now you should get a ramp. Triangular wave. Yeah. Here. So the fine you can see here we are getting a triangular wave, but this is the not a perfect triangular wave. Okay. There is some skewness, but we are getting a triangular wave here. Okay, so the thank you so much for watching this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will take uh, some more examples.